Hey everybody, Kiara okay, here back with another episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond for the Nintendo Switch. Last time we left off, we battled uh, two members of Team Rock. Team Rocket. I was gonna say Team Rocket. We battled two members of Team Galactic, and then we checked out that TV station that was current. That was a uh, locked to us, but then it became unlocked. So yeah. We checked out the TV station, battled a really tough opponent in there. And... Uh, and we got 100 Pokeballs, which is awesome. Um, a Magikarp. Okay. Nice. You hardly gave me experience, person. Oh my god. Dude, stop walking that way. My cat is trying to uh, climb on the bookshelf, you guys. But I can't let him. Because then it moves the camera. But the Pokemon I got from my dad. He gave you some terrible Pokemon. <laughs> no offense. No offense. May I please trouble you for a battle? Yes, you can. Yes, you may. Last Samantha. Badoo. All right, super effective. Might as well, you know, not risk losing this battle with one attack, so yeah. Oh yeah, and also last episode, uh, Primplup and Starly both evolved. So now I have a Primplup and a Staravia. Oh, you're so strong. Thanks. I'm just like, thanks. A Bidoof. Probably level 5. <laughs> Even worse. Level 4. How did you not defeat him? Probably should have used Water Gun. Oh my gosh, Winter. Winter is messing with the bookshelf. Alright. Let's see here. R uh, ravaged path? Is that how you pronounce that? Ravaged? There are boulders blocking the way inside the cavern. I think a hidden move in the Poketch would be able to break those boulders though. It would. It really would. Ravage path. You found an antidote. There's already an exit right here. Probably should get like an item or something. Just get an item. Zubat. Shinx is level 15. When does Shinx evolve? He has two other evolutions. <laughs> he evolves right now. Alright. And it's like, when does he evolve? He has two other evolutions, so it has to be before the 20s. Right? That's usually how it works. It's usually around 15, 16, 17. But hey, I got a Luxray. Actually, it's a Luxio. But I knew that. All right, what's over here? All 
Are you raising different kinds of Pokemon? If you only have one type of Pokemon, you'll have a hard time against types it's weak to. Oh, this is just a continuation. So what's the other way? Hold on, you guys. I need to explore everything. I need to explore everything. There's only a Pokeball. Alright. Alright then. I'm pretty sure if I have like surf, then I could go over that water. But as of right now, I can't. I don't think I ever will. <laughs> I mean, I will get surf eventually. That's that is a hidden move that I could use, but I just won't ever go over that water because I'm gonna forget about it. Okay, there's a Pokeball over here. Let's have a battle while smelling the aroma of flowers. Okay. Ooh, Aroma Lady. Tagler? Your name is Tagler. Uh, that's not a name. Tagler. You guys would be wise to not battle someone with a gym badge. Okay, you guys should be wise to do that. Poison point? What? How dare you? Truby. It's so cute. I need a Truby. It's so adorable. But it's also a grass type, so. Even though I lost, I'm not angry because it smells so nice. Your loss? Your loss smells nice. Good to know. You found an awakening, so that obviously wakes a Pokemon up. Uh, obviously. Who are you? Say, what's your opinion on bug Pokemon? I had to talk to you to battle? That never happens. Usually it's just like, you know, he sees me and we have to battle. This time he saw me and we didn't battle, but then I talked to him and we battled. It's weird. It's weird. Oh yeah, and he asked me he asked me what's my opinion on bug type Pokemon. My opinion is they are terrible Pokemon. <laughs> they are they are terrible Pokemon. They are terrible Pokemon. Bug type Pokemon creep me out. The only pretty one is Vivian. The only pretty one headbutt sure uh, no one wants growl get rid of growl I'm not going to be able to explain the charms of bug Pokemon this way nope Nope, I will not let myself get defeated by a bug type Pokemon. Twins? We're the strongest in our class. We can one shot this trainer, can't we, Liz? Twins? 
twins Liv and L Liv and Liz. Okay. Liv and Liz. All right. Uh, so electric type. No can do. I mean, no problem. <laughs> I keep saying the wrong things. All right. Wow. That's supposed to be very effective. But it was not. Okay, then. That, that's supposed to be very effective, right? Roll out. Roll out against an electric type. I don't know why it was not. But oh well. Level 17. That was worse. Uh, that's not very effective. I didn't know that. Steel type? Steel type is not very effective when it's electric? Since when? Since when? Anyways, let's use that. Headbutt again. Okay. There you go. I need to catch myself Pachirisu. Not just for the Pokedex, but because it is adorable. <laughs> I just want it in my box. Just want it in a box. Alright, where am I going? Bullet Seed. Found Bullet Seed. Ooh, Floraroma Town, that's where I needed to go. <gasps> Ooh, Floraroma Town. Floraroma Town! Sorry, guys, I'm loud. Um, hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your tower Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Floraroma Town. Floraroma Town. <laughs> Sorry, if you guys are wondering why I keep repeating the words, it's because there are two people here that I need to talk to to get two very special gifts. We're kind of close to Eternity City, but it's still quite far away. You should be prepared for a long journey. If you got Pokemon with you, it's safe for even a kid like you to go off traveling alone. I had to battle the other day and my Pokemon's HP got low. I thought we were done for. But then all of a sudden my Pokemon ate the berry it was holding. Phew! You guys. Let's do a quick how-to, okay? This is how to get a Mew in this game and a Jirachi. Ready, you guys? You talk to these people. <laughs> Simple. Just talk to these people. But the only thing is, you have to have played Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee to get Mew. And you have to have played Pokemon Sword or Shield to get Jirachi. So, let's do this. Oh, you there. And I gather you've seen a wishing star before. Would you mind taking this Pokemon? I think it would be perfect for you. Oh my gosh. <gasps> that was easy. I thought he would like ask me, have you played this game before? Or something. Or he'll... I don't know. So yeah, you get Jirachi if you've seen a wishing star. What level are you at? I mean, Jirachi would be cool to level up, but I kind of do want to evolve my other Pokemon first. I wish you and this Pokemon the grandest of adventures together. 
Why, hello there. It looks like you've played Let's Go in Kanto before. Would you like to go on an adventure in Sinnoh with this Pokemon? Oh my gosh. I, I got so excited when Pokemon said on, the, on their website that you could get those two Pokemon. And also later, later I'll be getting a Manaphy and a Fione. Which are two of my all-time favorite Pokemon. They're definitely in my top five. Pokemon must have an acute sense of smell. They can sense the aroma of honey from very far away. Some kinds of Pokemon appear only if they're attracted by the sweet scent of honey. Anyways, you guys. I just got a Jirachi and a Mew. <laughs> what? What? Why is there... Oh. I don't want that. Um, I got drawn here by the sweet scent of honey. Seriously, what's that? What am I, a Pokemon or something? Mmm, honey. <sighs> Do you know about Graysadia flowers? They're given as bouquets to express feelings of gratitude. It's an enduring tr transition around these parts. Floral town, vivid and scented. I wanted to get some flowers from Floraroma Meadow, but some Team Galactic guys in snazzy outfits came along. Those Galactic guys went to the meadow past these flowers here. Welcome to Floraroma, the town of flowers, flowers, and more flowers. You should plant some flowers of your own too. Yay for flowers. <laughs> yep. If I dress up and go to the TV station Jubilife City with my Pokemon, can everyone in the region see my Pokemon? Maybe? I don't know. You can buy berries or ribbons at Pokemarts. Ribbons? You can buy ribbons? Alright. Apparently you could buy ribbons. Well, I like this place. Trainer, please water berries using the spray duck watering can. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Stop talking. A single berry will grow into a plant that makes several berries. By planting one, there will be more and more berries in the world. I hope you will help us spread more berries everywhere. Got a cherry berry. Hello, would you like to exchange your berries for some stickers? Oh. Okay, well, that I could do that when I get more berries. There are two orange berries. Would you like to pick them? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like... Uh, is that even a question? The story will return to its soft and earthly state. Let's plant a berry. Two cherry berries. So I remember this from the games. I remember planting berries and stuff. Berry trees are profoundly interesting. If you grow them with care, they will bear great berries. Flower matter ahead, honey available. Okay, that's a route to it. Ooh. Look at those berries. Okay, anyways. Um So I'm pretty sure I need to go deal with those galactic people. Pretty sure, so let's go. I simply love it here. The atmosphere is so uplifting. You came to get Emotionally healed too, didn't you? <laughs> no, I did not. Aren't we Team Galactic and we're assigned here? Standing among, around among flowers, this doesn't seem all that cool. Hey now, don't complain. This is a pretty decent assignment, but bug and grass type Pokemon so creep me out. I don't like being here either. Okay, so I guess I just can't go to the meadow because they're blocking the way. Alright. So let's move on. Going this way. Route 205. There are two Chester Berries. Would you like to pick them? Alright, I'm supposed to sprinkle water on it. They're all happy. Hold on. Let's go sprinkle water.
I didn't know how to click a button. I'm just like, why is it going forever? I'm supposed to click a button to stop watering it. Alright. All right. Help, help, trainer. Please, can you get my popper for me? He works at the Valley Windworks, but the people dressed like space aliens are mean and won't let me in. Sure thing. Let me in. We, Team Galactic, are conducting research in Eterna Forest. This is as far as you will go. Our research involves catching Pokemon in the flowery meadows of Floroma Town. We are also using the energy of the Valley Windworks for something. But that is of no concern to you. Okay. So he just won't let me in? Let's go see what these guys want. Oh, they're gone. <laughs> Alright. So now I have to go this way. Enough arguing, hand over the sweet honey. Do as we say, Team Galactic will have that honey. We must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. Hey, this kid is a witness. What do we do? What do we do? We can't have the brat running off to get help. The solution's simple. We must ensure the brat stays quiet. Okay. Try to do that. Good luck. Good luck with that. A wormhole. Cool. Silcoon, an evolution of Wormful. This is why I'm going to be stuck as a grunt forever. Exactly. Exactly why. This is so lame. They're going to dock my pay. I'm up next. <laughs> Battling you right after my cohort has weakened you. Give... What? Okay. Could not read that. Has weakened you giving me the edge or something like that? I don't know. The Team Galactic Grunt sent out Zubats. Okay. Your cohort there has not weakened me that much. So, you are not going to defeat me. I refuse to lose to a Team Galactic member. Refuse, I say. I refuse. If only I had some decent Pokemon. <laughs> wow. Wow. This rat's tough. Like, really, really tough. Tougher than I can put into words, and I know a lot of words. <laughs> We're done for now. Let's get back to the Valley Windworks. 
Oh, what's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. It's a works key. It must be for the Valley Woodworks. It's of no use to me. You may as well have it. Nice. You put the works key in the key items pocket. Thank you, you surely saved me. Those goons were trying to rob me of my sweet, sweet honey. They sure were weird though. You saw how they were dressed. <laughs> what they were saying didn't make a lot of sense either. Oh, I need to thank you. Will you take this as my thanks? A jar of honey. Sure. I'll never use that. <laughs> if you slather that honey on a sweet smelling tree, it might attract Pokemon. Okay. Uh, so let's explore this place. Could I find Pokemon in this kind of grass? I don't think so. Alright. If you put honey on a tree, check back later to see if the tree is rustling. If I see rustling, it gets my hopes up because there's a good chance there's a rare Pokemon. The flowers that grow in the fields here are special. Do you see how they're more vivid than flowers elsewhere in Sinnoh? You can thank Pokemon for that. Oh, so I can't even go that way. Because, um, the ledge covers the whole place. Okay. Sure. I might as well use it, right? I just might as well. There's a tree there, so I might as well use it. So then I have to wait to see it rustle. Well, he did say check back later, so I don't think it's going to be rusting anytime soon. Alright. Maybe after the valley wind works, I'll come back. Maybe. Alright. Let's go this way. We, Team Galactic, are conducting. Okay. Uh, we already said this. Oh, I can't go that way still? Oh! Wait, this path wasn't always here, right? Okay, Valley Wind Works. Since when- okay. Uh, ecological wind-driven energy. I'm just like, wait, this path wasn't always here, right? Don't you dare go into the Valley Wind Works. I got orders to keep everyone out if they're not part of Team Galactic. You're giving me a look that makes me think you're gonna try to get in. Okay then, you'll have to battle me for it. No problem. Ooh, a Glamiel. Level 14. Yeah, like, I'm really supposed to win with a Pokemon like this. Wow, you guys are rude. So rude. Isn't that just great? Getting owned by some kid. But you can't do a thing if I lock myself in... Uh, if I... Uh, okay. Yeah. That's right, the other works key's not here. My cohorts in the flower patch have the only other one. Ha ha, in that sense, I'm no longer the loser. <laughs> so you lock yourself in there. Alright, well... I have a works key. Okay, I was not expecting... <gasps> Ooh, a buizel! I was not expecting a buizel. To, uh... To appear that fast. Anyways, let us use pound. Peck. Peck. That's how you growl? <laughs> By spinning your tail at me? Alright. I'm just like, that's how you growl? I have 122 Pokeballs, you guys. That's awesome. 
only if you pre-ordered the game, you could get up to 200. But I gave 100 to my older brother, because I'm nice. Right. Anyways. Uh, Buizel's data will be added. Sea Weasel Pokemon. Send to a box. Anyways, that's where I'll end this video, you guys. Next time, we shall head into the Valley Windworks with my works key. And I'll see you guys next time for my Pokemon Brilliant Diamond.